Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home and I'm back today with another 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray review. This time, surprisingly enough, I actually have a disc from Disney and Touchstone Pictures and we're going to be diving into the world of Roger Rabbit on 4K Blu-ray. So I'm going to dive into special features on here, the packaging, the visual quality, the audio upgrades, and ultimately whether or not this one is worth upgrading for your collection. So Roger Rabbit is an extremely unique movie. If you don't know about this movie, it is a combination of both live action and animation. It features Looney Tunes characters, Disney characters, Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse coming together on screen for the first time. Lots of really cool characters throughout the movie, a great storyline, a, a sort of parody of film noir movies from the 40s. I really liked this movie as a kid. I think it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. It still holds up. And Robert Zemeckis, Steven Spielberg, what a combo. You can't really go wrong with the movie. But what makes this 4K review interesting is the fact that we have that combination of live action and animation. So there's kind of two different elements that they had to restore. You've got to restore the live action film and that film print. And then you've also got to go through and restore and upgrade the animation and the animated cells that were put on top of the live action film. So it's a very interesting, still at the time, it was you know groundbreaking technology and I still think it looks pretty good um, for the time, but that's where the visuals would get interesting here. So visually, I thought that this was a pretty solid upgrade. So the detail is definitely better and you, you can see that in some of the screenshots. Anywhere where there's live action and there's that 35 millimeter film, there's definitely a nice upgrade from Blu-ray to 4K finer details right you know tough lines around the faces and around people's noses and things like that the brims of hats the things across the desks little elements like that that's where you start to pick up some of these fine details and, and things honestly in the background which were maybe fuzzy or out of focus start to come into focus a little bit better they're less fuzzy more detailed you start to see the whole picture clean up and, and that's definitely true in the live action side on the animated side, the detail stays, I would say, roughly the same. You don't see like a massive difference in the animation quality. It was very good on Blu-ray. It was very good when the movie was released, and it's still very good. So detail-wise, resolution, quality there, the biggest difference is in the live action scenes, and the animation isn't really affected by most of that upgrade to 4K. Now where the animation really steps up is with the introduction of HDR. So the HDR addition to this release really makes the animation pop. It was a little bit muted and a little bit boring on the Blu-ray. It was a little washed out. It was not very bright, a little bit dull. And here on 4K, it really pops. You'll see it in some of the screenshots. And again, these are just representative screenshots. These are not like one-to-one -one absolute comparisons but it gives you a good idea of what you can expect when you watch. And I think it's even more impressive when you see it in person. So take the screenshots as always with a grain of salt. It's gonna be better in person for you, but it is a huge upgrade when you're using HDR on animation. I've seen this with a lot of other Disney Pixar movies. That's my favorite thing about animated movies on 4K is the HDR. And that continues to be the case here for Roger Rabbit. It really pops. I really love the way it looks. Now I will say this is not a perfect, perfect transfer. There are a few scenes, one in particular, or a couple in particular, as I'm going through where I actually, um, I enjoyed the way the Blu-ray looked a little bit better. Either the 4K was oversaturated or um, had some sort of like a really warm tint on it, which typically is the case with the Blu-ray. It goes from a really warm color palette to like a cooler color palette, which looks a little more natural. And I saw that flip in some scenes here from Blu-ray to 4K where the 4K looked really warm. So I'd say it's not the most consistently beautiful transfer. It definitely goes back and forth between like okay, that's really vibrant, that's great, that, that really pops on my screen, to now all of a sudden it's a little bit red, orange, um, you know, dulled out color again. It's sort of hit or miss, but it's only in a few scenes. The vast majority of this movie does look pretty good. I will continue to give Disney credit where they deserve it. When they put out a 4K disc and they do restorations, they tend to do a very good job with their live action stuff. Roger Rabbit is no exception. It's pretty well done. I would give it, say, a four out of five for visuals. My problem with Disney just continues to be, I want more of this. They do a good job, so give us more. Um, 
maybe they will maybe they will if this sells well and some others sell well but i wouldn't cross your fingers and and, and you know wait for much hold your breath it's probably not going to happen but i'd say roger rabbit here on 4k is a fairly uh, solid upgrade especially with hdr especially with live action in the 35 millimeter coming to 4k it's a nice improvement and i would recommend it visually uh, picking this one up now for audio on this release you do get dolby atmos on the 4k disc unfortunately the blu-ray still has dts hd 5.1 master audio so no upgrade on the blu-ray disc only on the 4k um, again this sort of is is disney's mo but the Atmos on this is a little bit on the weaker side. It's not one of the best Atmos tracks I've ever heard. In fact, it really does continue to sound like they sort of take their 5.1 tracks and just sort of like upscale. It's almost like a 2K upscale to a 4K Blu-ray where they don't do a full 4K restoration. It feels like they take their 5.1 surround tracks and they just kind of upscale the Atmos. And it's not a true new Dolby Atmos experience. They're just sort of using that audio codec and upscaling their 5.1 because it's not the most impressive Atmos. The Dolby Atmos adds a little bit here. Maybe you get a few instances where the surround is improved. Um, I didn't think like the bass was much better. I didn't really hear much clearer, you know, dialogue. Um, there weren't a ton of like height effects. They were in use, but really the speakers were more in use just to kind of extend than to actually pop these, you know, object based surround items around your home theater. It just felt like sort of a 7.1 track almost versus um, a Dolby Atmos. And that's sort of been the complaint with Disney for a while. And unfortunately, I think that continues here. It's not the best. It's better than the Blu-ray, but very marginally. And I'd probably give it like a three or a three and a half for audio. Now, packaging wise, you get your typical Ultimate Collector's Edition packaging. I like the artwork. It's pretty standard stuff. You get a digital code. And then on the inside, I give them props because they actually did some disc art. So I like the 4K disc art. The Blu-ray does not have it. Um, my guess is actually that that Blu-ray is just ported over from the previous Blu-ray release, given the no upgraded audio and everything. Um, that's as far as I could tell. But then special features, not on the 4K, again on the Blu-ray, and they're all ported over from the previous one. So there's audio commentary, some shorts, deleted scenes. The only thing that's missing was there was sort of a watch along version, which popped up like movie facts, and that's not here on the Blu-ray. So overall, pretty basic standard Disney packaging, nothing really crazy, although there is a Best Buy Steelbook. So if you want something next level, there's a really cool looking Steelbook. I'll throw up an image here. Um, that's certainly an option if you want something uh, upgraded uh, packaging wise, but it's not going to change your special features any. So overall, I thought that this was a solid effort from Disney. It's definitely better on the visual side than on the audio side. Packaging and special features don't really add much to the picture. But if you're just looking to upgrade and get the best visuals in a slight upgrade on audio, this is probably a worthy purchase for most fans. I really do love the way the animation looks in 4K with HDR. That was the biggest selling point for me. And I was actually really concerned too that the animation uh, over the live action would look a little bit cheesier in 4K given more resolution, more places for mistakes and you know things to really show on the green screen effects, but didn't really see that. I think they did a really good job molding the two even on 4K. And it just goes to show how much of a technical marvel this was when it first came out. It, it still really holds up. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you wanna pick this one up. I'd give it a solid four out of five overall which for me is typically worth an upgrade anything four or above i would say yeah upgrade that so worth an upgrade link is in the description if you want to pick that up that helps support my channel so i appreciate it also make sure you check out all the other links in my description for my social media uh, accounts instagram TikTok, twitter and other ways you can support my channel and as always make sure you subscribe but make sure you like this video and comment and let disney know we want more 4K. This is really cool. This is a good release. Give us more of this. Give us more live action. Give us more back catalog. We will buy it. We will support it if it's done well. They need to upgrade their Atmos a little bit, but they do fairly well visually. They're right in the middle of the pack visually. They're right there with Warner, Paramount, Universal in terms of their transfers. They do a pretty good job when they decide to do it. So like the video and comment so maybe someone will see it. They'll see the excitement this is getting and maybe we can generate some more discs from Disney. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay healthy out there. Enjoy this holiday season and I will talk to you all soon.